Hey there guys, it's Carly. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you some of my hits and misses in terms of Lush products. So I've got bath and shower, face, body, I've got all the goodness and I'm letting you guys know whether it is worth your money or not. So grab yourself a cuppa and let's get into the video. All right, so I'm going to start off with bath products and I've actually got six different bubble bars that I want to share with you guys. So my first one, and I've already cracked through it, it is Bright Side and it is smelling absolutely delicious. This is definitely a hit when it comes to bubble bars. It smells like mandarins, oranges, like really sort of tangy, fruity flavors. You can tell I've already cracked into about half of it. Makes the water a lovely orange color and obviously loads of bubbles. So that one's a hit. Also a hit in terms of bubble bars. And this is my first time on the Snow Fairy. Absolutely love Snow Fairy. Sweetest, like, Oh my gosh, strawberries and cream, scent, pink water, just glorious. Definitely recommend for that. Now, my four other bubble bars I haven't cracked into yet, but even in saying that, I'm not quite sure how I feel about them. So, first one up is the Comforter. Very subtle kind of lolly smell. Um, I'm really keen to give this one a try. Definitely scented, not quite as beautifully as the Snow Fairy. And then I've also got my, what's this one called? This one is Blue Skies and Fluffy White Clouds. Doesn't really have much of a scent. Keen to see some blue sort of color in my water though. Hopefully that one just is quite nice in the bath. Not sure how I feel about those two. Would definitely get the first two. Not sure about the second two. And I'm also not sure about the Christmas ones. So for a starter, I got Kinky Boots. And uh, this purple thing comes off. So well, at least it's easy access, but it's also quite annoying because it keeps it's just been falling off everywhere. It's... Um, it doesn't really have like a Christmas style scent, which I think is annoying. Um, so I think I wouldn't get this one again because it's sort of broken-ish and doesn't really smell that great. And I'm also not sure how I feel about Mr. Polar Bear either. If I'm being completely honest, he smells like toothpaste. So I think it's meant to be like a minty smell, which is fine. Um, but he's also, he gets sort of everywhere and if I'm thinking in terms of color it's probably going to make my water white which it is sort of anyway so I got those two to try and be festive but I don't think that I would get them again for the smells and then also just for the fact that they're very messy Moving along, I did get one hair care product this year. This is the Super Balm Scalp Treatment. And the instructions are not quite specific. So at first I put it on outside of the shower, left it in for a bit and then went and washed my hair. And then the second time I used it, I put it on in the shower, left it on for a bit and washed my hair. Uh, either way, I didn't find that it did really anything sort of incredible for my hair. Um, so I'll finish that off, but I don't think that I'll get it again because I'm not really sure that it's making much of a difference. But something I certainly will get again, this is a face mask. It is Cosmetic Warrior. And it says, fighting for clear, pacified skin, cooling fresh grapes, set the rhythm, while a battle cry of garlic, kaolin, and antibacterial tea tree calms and cleanses. So, first of all, you should know that this is potent smelling. So, the garlic and the tea tree add quite a scent that's not quite pleasant uh, but in saying that I have used this a handful of times and I really like it put it in the fridge and when you put it on your skin it is super cooling and calming and I do feel like it has been 
beneficial in terms of I have acne prone skin. So I find, you know, doing that once a week has really helped. Maybe I could even up it to twice a week. Now I'm kind of like all over the place here. I'm going to talk about like a little sample that I got. This is the Dream Cream body lotion. Um, it does have like a very slight lavender scent in saying that the scent I don't think is enough. And when you smell it, it's quite ambiguous as to what it is. So I don't really like the smell. And I've found that it's just a very general moisturizer. It's not like super moisturizing. And even though it's dream cream and I get the sense that maybe I'm meant to put it on before bed and it's meant to help me go to sleep, that really hasn't been working out. So I got a sample of that. I'm not going to buy the full size. Also another sample that I'm not going to buy the full size full size of this is the angels on bare skin um, facial wash i did find it a little bit um off putting at first in the sense that it's like got this sort of tacky texture you kind of plug it out with your finger and then when you get a little bit of water on it it starts to stud up slightly the thing that i don't like about it is that it's like you end up getting sort of clumps everywhere and it clumps sort of all over the place. It makes it actually quite hard to wash your face. I do really like the scent of this. I think it smells like fantastic, uh, very sort of like dried florally. Um, and I would like it more if it was just easier to apply. So I'm, I got a sample. I'm definitely not getting the full size. But something that I'm absolutely loving is the Lush Shampoo Bars. So I'm not sure what one I'm currently using now, um, but I did also go through a Honey I Wash My Hair bar this year, and I think that is by far my favorite shampoo bar from Lush. I am very mindful when I get the shampoo bars that some of them contain sodium lauryl sulfate and I do try and avoid those ones, the SLS and the SLES ones. There are some that don't contain those um, and I think maybe Honey I Wash My Hair is one of those. Um, but when I go and I pick out my shampoo bars, I'm looking specifically for no SLS, SLES ingredients. So Keep an eye out for that if you're looking to avoid, you know, the the suds because it really can irritate your skin. So I've got three more things. Two are hits, one is a miss. So the first one is this Tea Totaler Cleansing Facial Balm. I actually really like this. It's got a super fresh scent and I just sort of warm it up between my hands and then um, apply my hands to my face. Um, I don't use it every single day. I only use it on days where I have a considerable amount of makeup and then I will do a double cleanse. So I'll use that before the shower and then I'll go and cleanse off in the shower. A second thing that is a hit and you can see I've used quite a substantial bit of it. It is this Argan Oil Facial Bar. It has like a nice scent to it. It is super moisturizing. I'm currently not using it now because it is the summertime and that would just be like too heavy for my skin, but I definitely used it pretty well all of the winter. Now my last miss is this. It's very cute and very pretty and it is a um, sort of body glitter bar and I was going to get um, like the Fenty Beauty Body Lava and I'm like, no, I'll go Lush, I'll go package free, I'll go, you know, more natural ingredients and get this. But literally when you rub it on, it's quite coarse and the glitter is like big chunks of glitter all over you that end up getting all over your clothes and all over your body. So I, I don't like wasting, I feel like, so I feel like I need to use this up, but also it like, it's doesn't, mm, I don't want to. I basically just don't really want to use it up. So I'm in like a bit of a bind here. So I hope you enjoy seeing some of my 
favorite Lush products, some of the products I won't be buying again. In terms of bubble bars, I absolutely rate bubble bars. I was like a bath bomb gal for a while there until I discovered the bubble bars. You get the color in the bath, you get the bubbles, and what I do is I just get a knife and carve off a little bit and then run that under the water um, as I'm running my bath. So I get so many uses out of one bubble bar in comparison to a single use out of a bath bomb. Yes, the bath bombs are pretty, they have more scents in the bath than the bubble bars, but I think if you're thinking value for money, definitely the bubble bars are the way to go. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Make sure you comment down below what is your all-time favorite Lush product. I'm keen to sort of check out, get some good recommendations so I'm spending my money wisely. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your week and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.